Hello and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, a huge welcome to you. And if you're returning, thanks for joining us again today. So I'd like to take you into a really special topic that's very close to the heart of Montessori education. It's called the peace table. This isn't just about resolving conflicts. It's about nurturing a lifelong attitude of respect and understanding. So grab a comfy seat and let's explore this together. Maria Montessori was an incredible thinker. She wasn't just focused on early childhood education. She was also deeply committed to promoting peace. Maria Montessori believed that education should go beyond just teaching children facts. It should also nurture their spirits. She famously said, establishing lasting peace is the work of education. All politics can do is keep us out of war. For her, teaching peace was just as important as teaching math or reading because it's about shaping people who can help create a more peaceful world. Montessori had this beautiful idea that children are naturally inclined towards peace. They have a strong sense of fairness and when we give them the right tools and environment, they can learn to resolve conflicts on their own. This belief is why peace education is such an important part of Montessori classrooms. And this is where children learn to practice peace in their everyday lives. One of the clearest examples of this is the peace table. Now, I can see you asking, what exactly is a peace table? In its essence, a peace table is a designated space in a Montessori classroom where children can come to resolve conflicts, express their feelings, and engage in peaceful dialogue. The purpose is simple, but it's so deep. To give children a space where they can learn and practice the skills that they need for a peaceful conflict resolution is so special, isn't it? It's not just about solving problems. It's about teaching children to communicate openly, to listen to each other deeply, and to find solutions together. An interesting fact is that Montessori classrooms around the world have adapted the peace table in various ways, depending on their own cultural context and the specific needs of their children. Some schools even have outdoor peace tables incorporating nature as a calming influence during discussions. Setting up a peace table is both an art and a science. You want the space to be inviting, calming, and conducive to open conversation. Typically, the table is small, just enough for two chairs, symbolizing a space for one-on-one -on -one dialogue. On the table, you might find a peace object such as a small plant, a flower, or maybe an electric candle. These items are not just decorative, they serve as a focal point to help ground the conversation and remind children of the peaceful intent of their discussion. In some classrooms, you might find additional items like a talking stick, which is passed between the children as a signal of whose turn it is to speak. Sometimes you may also have a snow globe or a bottle of blue water with some glitter inside, which the children can shake and it brings upon a calming effect. The setup might also include peaceful quotes or symbols to further reinforce the atmosphere of calm and respect. The beauty of the peace table is that it can be adapted to fit the needs and culture of any classroom, making it a truly universal tool. For example, in a classroom where cultural traditions are important, the peace table might include items that reflect those traditions, like a small bowl of water to symbolize clarity or a piece of fabric with a significant pattern. In another classroom, the peace table could feature a special stone that children pack, pass back and forth as they take, take turns to speak. And this is a simple but meaningful way to practice sharing and listening. In some classrooms, you might find a peace table that's outdoors, allowing children to be surrounded by nature as they work through their feelings. This can be especially calming 
and it helps connect the idea of peace with the natural world. In another setting, the peace table might be used not just for resolving conflicts, but also as a place where children can celebrate peaceful moments or even to share something positive that happened on that day. The flexibility of the peace table means that it can be tailored to resonate with the unique dynamics and values of any group of children. In the Montessori environment, the peace table is not just a place for resolving disputes. It's a place for reflection, conversation, and even a celebration of peaceful moments. When a conflict arises, let's say two children want to use the same toy, they're encouraged to take the issue to the peace table. There, they can talk about their feelings, listen to each other's perspectives, and work together to find a solution. And what's the role of the adult? It's minimal. We often just guide the children to the peace table if needed. The focus for us is to empower the children to manage the situation by themselves. But like I said, it's not only about conflict. Children could go to the peace table when they're feeling sad, when they're feeling frustrated or angry, and they just need that moment to collect their thoughts. They might also use it to have a quiet conversation with a friend or even to just sit and reflect. It's a versatile space that adapts to the emotional needs of the children. It makes you think it would be amazing for us to have this kind of a space in our homes too, isn't it? The benefits of the peace table are immense. Firstly, it teaches children invaluable life skills, how to express their emotions, how to listen to others, and how to resolve conflicts peacefully. These are skills that will serve them well throughout their lives and in every relationship and interaction that they will have. Secondly, the peace table fosters a sense of independence and responsibility. By allowing children to handle their own conflicts, it shows them that they have the power to create peace, both in their own lives and in the world around them. This empowerment is critical to developing self-confidence and a sense of agency. Moreover, the peace table helps to create a positive classroom culture. When children know that they have a safe space to express themselves and to resolve issues, it reduces the overall tension and conflict in the environment. The classroom then becomes a community where every member is respected and valued and where peace is not just an ideal, but it's a daily practice. Let me share some real life examples on how the peace table might be used. Now imagine there's a scenario where two children are building the pink tower and one accidentally knocks over the other person's work. Emotions run high and a disagreement begins. Instead of jumping in immediately, the directress might suggest that the children take their problem to the peace table. At the table, each child has a chance to express how they feel about what happened. Maybe one says, I felt angry when you knocked over my tower. The other might respond, but I didn't mean to, it was an accident. Through this kind of exchange, they gain an understanding of each other's feelings, and then they can work it out in a good way, in a positive way, to rebuild the tower together. Another example for you could be when a child is feeling left out. Maybe they've noticed that their friends are playing together without them and it's making them really sad. They could invite a friend to the peace table to talk about how they're feeling. This kind of open dialogue helps to prevent misunderstandings and at the same time, it encourages a supportive and inclusive environment in your classroom. I hope this has been interesting and thank you so much for spending time with me today to explore the Montessori Peace Table. It's a simple yet powerful tool that nurtures peace, understanding and respectful values. Values that are so important, not just in the classroom, but in a world at large. Before we go, I'd like to invite you to learn more about what we offer at Sunshine Teachers Training. Our online courses are an amazing way 
for you to become a certified Montessori educator. And the best part about our courses is that you can study from anywhere in the world. We're accredited by MACTE, which means that our qualifications are globally recognized. And we currently have students from 23 different countries. Whether you're new to Montessori or whether you're looking to deepen your knowledge, we'd love for you to join our community. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share this with others who you think might find it helpful. We're here to support your Montessori journey every step of the way. Until the next time, keep fostering peace and understanding in your classroom and have a beautiful day.